Alright, uh, what's happening Grim Game fans? I'm Grim. Welcome back to my little corner. Um, presumably, if all has gone well and my meticulous tweaking has proved effective, I should sound way better than I did yesterday. And the reason for that is that my darling, beloved, I am entirely undeserving of wife, decided to get me a new headset for my birthday. She was going to wait because my birthday is not until, like, early November. But she ended up caving, and she was like, you know what, here, have it early. And I was like, ah, this is amazing, I love you. Um, so it's a really nice, it's a, uh, it's a rumness. I totally forget the specifics of it, because I'm just, I'm not very tech savvy. Um, it is a rumness K11, with some fucking blinding LEDs on it. This is like... This is your, your elite Fortnite pro gamer kind of headset. <laughs> Actually, I have the, uh, because it's got a USB that powers the, uh, the LEDs, and then it's got, like, the two little microphone ports and shit. So, like, I actually, <laughs> I had to unplug this thing. It's just distracting. But, uh, but yeah, so it's, uh, it's pretty nice. I mean, I've, I've done a, a bunch of, like, tests and stuff trying to get my audio right. I hope everything sounds good. Please feel free to let me know if it doesn't. Um... And, uh, and yeah, so it should hopefully lend to a more pleasant streaming situation all around. So, we'll, uh, we'll see how that do. But without further ado, uh, let's get some Resident Evil going, shall we? Do, do, do. Let me just get over to the Steam and load it up. And hit that button. There we go. Oh, whoops. It would probably help if you guys could hear it. Resident Evil Zero. I can think of a fun thumbnail to make for this one, too. Resident Evil Zero. Domestic Malevolence. We are in the hall. We're playing on easy mode, because I'm a little bitch, and the last time I played, I wasted my ammo to a point that I got myself stuck. And, you know, when I, when I play games like this, the operative goal is, one, have fun with it, to make some semblance of progress that you guys can actually, like, you know, enjoy the game and not just see me stuck at one spot forever. Um, so I don't really, I don't really care about, like, I've never been, like, a stickler for difficulty. And I've never been one of those, like, oh, you gotta play it on the hardest. Um, I totally missed that blip, but I think it was the footsteps one, which is one of my favorites. Anyway, William, pardon me, I need to acquire... Never mind. <laughs> Actually, you know what I should be doing? Uh, I 
going to leave the hookshot here, just so I know exactly where it is, because I believe I'm going to need that later. And then I'm going to... Billy Boy, what do you have? You have the shotgun. It'll drop that. It'll drop the shells with it. We will... I guess we'll keep the ink ribbons on us. That's probably not a bad idea. Um, ooh. The knight swords firmly bar access to the door. Well, alright then. Nighty night to you too. So we've got that, we've got the stuff. Becky should have two open inventory spots. I also realized I <laughs> I had a random thought this morning. For some reason I was thinking about it to the playthrough. I just realized it did not give us the uh, the bottles or the gasoline from the train, so I have just missed out on a handful of Molotov cocktails that I could have had in favor of this plethora of healing items. And two knives, which I'm gonna do fuck all with. So thanks, train. I appreciate it. This is something I'll have to keep in mind for next time. Um, I don't have a map for this area, so I guess... I'll just try door number one! Oh, wait, hold on. I forgot the whole fucking reason I had you pick these up was so you can combine them. And then... Okay. Off we go! What horrors await? Zimzams! Ooh, excellent shot, William! That's two you're up to now. Well done. God, I love the I love the ambient dread in this game. Like that just that oppressive noise. This and Silent Hill both do uh have both always done that oppressiveness very well. I'm a big fan of it. Give me these bullets. Yes. How is the um the audio? It's not like the the oppression isn't too loud, is it? It's locked. The door is embossed with a fire motif. More bullets. I'm actually going to take a sec and divvy these bullets up, because I feel like Becky has all the bullets she does indeed. Let's try and even that out a bit. Alright, I guess that's fine. Okay. Oh, you look like you're gonna wake up. This thing's faucet is rusty. Not even a single drop of water comes out. You're not gonna comment on fucko here? Okay. The hell do I know, I guess. So, I'll probably be able to stream for, I don't know, a good, like, hour and a half, maybe two hours today. I'm not really entirely sure what's going on. And then I might be back later as well, depending on the circumstances. Hi! Busy boop! Oh, I hear friends. Are there more of you? Boop. Then a boop. Then a boop. There you go. Take him out, William. He's a bastard. Oh! There we go. There's the other shotgun already. I, uh, I knew you got it fairly early in this one. Yes, take the shotgun. I'm sure we'll need it. Ooh. Those are some spoopy piano jingles. Listen to that. That is... That is menacing. Ah, uh, the black statue. Nope, not the button I wanted to press. <laughs> black statue. Yeah, if you could chill for a second, background noise, that would be great. A stone statue with a single eerie-looking wing on its back. There's a small hole in the back. Ah! There will be more to do with this thing, methinks. Um, where does this go? Climb up the ladder? Sure. Why the fuck not? More Zimzoms, that's why not. Are you gonna get up? 
You're gonna get up eventually. I can walk through you, so I know you're not part of the background. Oh, see, you got up already. Get ah, down, oh, Billy. Oh, Becky, not the time. All right, are we good? Everybody good? We all cool? Everybody cool here? That looks odd. The door is now unlocked. Didn't even know it was locked in the first place. Look at how good I am at this game. Oh, we're back. Oh, no, this is a different room, isn't it? The Night Swords firmly bar access to the door. So, yeah, this is a different room. I knew that. What do we got going on over here? Are we having a press conference? We here at the NyQuil Foundation are not responsible for any zombies on any trains. Let's see. Evac, drill path lock, drill path. System disk required to activate release system. Alright. Um, I don't think I have one of those. So we'll come back to these fancy desks later. What is this? Painting depicts a multitude of people fighting in a war. This one depicts a creepy looking face. Painting depicts a large mob of people brandishing weapons under a blue cloudless sky. What about this one? This painting depicts a group of people eating in a dining room. They're all glaring at each other. I say, whoever made this place has a weird taste in art. This painting depicts a crowd of people standing around a castle, wailing in grief. I'm getting a theme here. Ooh, shotgun ammo. God, we're loaded in shotgun ammo. I know I'm playing on, like, easy mode. Jesus, I'm handing it to you. There's a typewriter. Record data? I may as well. Just so it doesn't fucking crash on me again. <laughs> I'm not overly conservative when it comes to saving. You'll, you'll see me doing this a lot. Conference room. Right. Billy boy! I'll give you these. There you go. Go to town. You saved that shotgun. We're probably going to need it later. But for now, just eat through our, our plethora of bullets. Oh, okay. So this is upstairs in the main room. Okay. Now I know where we are. There's something written on the base. When good and evil are brought into balance, a new path will be opened before you. Do you want a not-quite-finished statue? Oh, apparently you do. Well, good. You can hang on to that until I figure out what else I'm supposed to do with it. I thought that was a door for a sec. That's a door! Hey, chat. When is a door not a door? When it's a jar. Aha! Uh -huh. More bullets. <laughs> the game should not be rewarding my terrible jokes. What are you? Is that a crank? It's a crank handle. Oh, birds! Oh, Hitchcock, please. <laughs> Rebecca? Becky, sweetheart. Fuck it. Billy, if you want to, like, contribute to this event, that would be appreciated. There you go. Birds? Eh, we're still fine. This plant is wilted. Thanks. It's a very old fireplace. There's only a small trace of ash left. Is it the Ashfords? The villains from, I think, Code Veronica? 
So what can you do with this? Crank handle with a square-shaped protrusion at one end. Okay. I'm sure it was of vital importance to acquire that. Let's see where else we're headed. There's two doors on the other side. Those appear to be locked, but there is a door back the way we came. So let's skizdy scoot our busy boots over that way. Now, for those of you watching, I've I've played Resident Evil before. Actually, I started streaming it on my channel way, way back when, and then I just kind of got distracted and other stuff came up. But um, I have never beaten the game, and I think the furthest I've ever gotten is like the second building, but I have no recollection of, like... Hi. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. There we go. Yeah, it's fine. Just reload while he shambles. Boop. Boop. You did not want to go to sleepy time. Um, I've never gotten past, like, I think it's the... What, like, the second building? Oh, that's how you reload. Okay, good. And, um... I have, like, no memory of how to do any of the puzzles. <laughs> it's been a long time, and I didn't, like, bother to go back and rewatch or anything. And for some reason, nobody ever, like... There's a couple streamers that I, I just watch in, like, my downtime and stuff, and... Like, if a couple of them have played, like, Resident Evil 1, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, and all that. None of them have played Resident Evil 0 for some reason. I happen to like 0. I think it's pretty good. We've got a map! Took the training facility map. Are more birds gonna come fuck me up? Take the ink ribbon. It's very quiet in here. I'm not a fan of that. Leaves me alone with my thoughts, and everybody knows that's not a good idea. Oh, hey! Crankity yankity, it looks like. Although. Alright, I'm going to... Mm. Microfilm. Insert this film into a projector to view its contents. Oh! Okay. Um, Man, 2020 really must be the end of the world you're streaming. I know! Everybody, like, uh, fucking Starbane, um, Seamus, everybody's been like, holy shit, you're back! And, uh, I am. I, I found myself with a handful of free time, and I was kind of lonely with it. I was like, I should just, I should just start streaming again. And then like Kenzo got me into it, and Easy too, and so yeah. So now I'm back from outer space. I just walked in to find you here, with that look upon your face. I'm gonna give. I'm going to give Rebecca all of the bullets for a second, and then uh, I'm going to give Billy this, and I'm going to give Billy the ink ribbon. Notice that. <laughs> yep. And we're gonna give Rebecca the shotgun, because I feel like there's gonna be bad things up ahead. Um, so... I'll go. Yeah. You guys split up and search for clues. It's nice to see you. It's nice to see you, too! It's, it's been good to be back. I keep pressing the wrong button. <laughs> How have you been doing? How's the, uh, how's the kiddo? Hopefully doing well in these trying times, I hope. The lift looks usable, but you'll need someone to get onto it first. Gee, if only I had someone. Crankity yankity. Oh, William, you're so strong. A little bit. Oh, hi! Kiddos! Oh, congrats! Yeah, had a COVID. Well, good. Congratulations! See? I was right to bring the shotgun. They've got a terrible... Sure, I... I, I don't fucking know what that is. Like a mutant earwig or something? Hi! Get out of here! <laughs> 
Just complete fucking nope to that. Quick as night is not in April. That is fantastic. Congrats, you guys. Yes, I know. Gears, give me the bullets. This is clearly the thing I want. It's shiny. How are you and the Wolfie Wife? We are doing well. Um, Still going strong. Working. Hanging out. Um, Yeah. Really? No complaints. I can't carry that now. All right, one complaint. I can't carry that first aid spray. Fuck these bugs, though. Oh, this... I'm... Guessing this clock is going to move at some point or something, maybe? Uh, it's a solidly built clock. The minute hand is missing from the dial. It's good. Still doing digital stuff. Um, not so much. I really haven't done, like, much artwork stuff beyond, like... I made a fun little thumbnail. Oh yeah, the fur babies are all good. It's uh you know, been business as usual in the uh in the Grim Game household. <laughs> Alright. Any more bugs? Oh, I see it. Birdie boy. Oh, so let's reload that shotgun. Need it. Bird friend. If I Oh yeah, you're you're violent. <laughs> I was gonna let him live. I was gonna be like nice. Then fucker came charging at me. No! Get off. There you go, get fucked. Get stop! Heck in my head. Where's the last one? There you are. Get fucked. I'm alert for a bed. I gotta get ready to go places. Visiting Baltimore for the weekend. Oh, cool. We'll have a good time. I know nothing of Baltimore, being the secluded East Coaster that I am. But, uh... I imagine it's a lovely place. So I guess I'm fine. I really don't need to, like, worry about these healing items for now. But, uh... At least I know they're up here. Ooh. Well, now I feel tall, but I don't think this helps my situation much. <laughs> Alright, um... I guess we'll press onward. Moshi Moshi. Oh, this room looks unpleasant. Hello. This looks important. Hold on. Machine has finished winding the chain. Machine for winding the chain. Start the machine? Sure. There's no way for Rebecca to move it. Ah, we need Billy Boy. And his big, strong, muscly arms. I don't know if I want to go down there. Where am I in relation to everything else? This is... Oh! Okay, so this is... There's a staircase off the side over here. Alright. Um... Becky, darling? Night swords from the bar across the door. Didn't mean to click that again. My apologies. Let's go... Stairs? There we are. Clickety-click-clack. Coming down the Resident Evil track. Oh! Hold on, that's a door. <laughs> What's in here? That looks like a weird room. Well, let's check it out! We've already split up to search for clues. We may as well. Oh! More bugs! Nope, hold on. Check on. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck on out of here. You guys want any more? Oh, is that a fucking grenade launcher already? Painting has, an ex has accentuated her sense of nobility. Cool, can I have the shotgun shells? 
Yes. God, they've like... It's been like a half hour. I've already gotten a shotgun and now they're giving me a grenade launcher. Oh, and there's the statue with the with the lady. It's locked. The door is embossed with a water motif. And some more paintings. Paintings aren't even packed in boxes. They're just stacked here haphazardly. What a disgrace to the art world. Can I carry that grenade launcher? I cannot. Alright, um, is there significance with the clock? Grandfather clock appears to be broken, it stopped ticking altogether. Nope, evidently not. But we know the, uh... We know the other statues in there. The door is now unlocked! Good! Um, in that case... Let's just have Billy Boy- Stop staring at your handcuffs! We know, you're a bad boy. Where are you going? You need to go... Out, and then right... Okay. I think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, hi! What are you doing awake? Go back to sleep. You prick. I ain't got no time for you. I got places to be. Places to do and things to go. Billy, why aren't you reloading? Unless your gun's full, which it shouldn't be. No, don't switch characters. Rebecca, you just stay right there. Oh! It's because I gave Rebecca all the ammo. Fuck. Um. I completely forgot. I forgot to take the bullets back when I gave her the shotgun. As you can see, I am an efficient planner who knows very well what he's doing. So I need to go left. There we go. Crace is averted. We only had to kill one dude. Is killing if they're already dead. Come on. Okay. All right, let's go. Uh, first, I guess let's even that out. Oh, hey, Kaiser, how's it going? Good morning to you, my friend. Things are always going according to plan. It's true. I'm I'm a master of planning, uh, which is why. I'm going to have to go back to the main area and drop a bunch of stuff. Let me just go downstairs and, like, we don't need to carry the gas with us until we can find some bottles. We don't need... Reminds me of Jill with her lockpicking skills. Yes! The master of unlocking that she is. Let's go over here. Um, we'll go right here. We'll leave the gasoline. We'll leave the... Oh! No! I can go put the microfilm... No, I'm thinking of Resident Evil 1, aren't I? I was like, oh, there's a thing I can put it in, but I don't think there is actually at the moment. Yes, we can leave the shotgun. I mean, we can come back for it if... Uh, no, you know what? Fuck it. We'll, we'll keep the shotgun with us for now. We'll go get the grenade... Oh, no, that's what we'll do. Okay. I'm planning. Okay, bear with me. We're gonna go get the grenade launcher. We're going to come back. We're gonna drop the grenade launcher. We're gonna take the shotgun. And all will be well. We're gonna let... Becky have it. I already killed the bugs. You don't need to keep doing that dramatic sound. And then... What are these? Napalm grenades. Absolutely, that sounds very handy. In a plethora of situations. 
equip. What does it have in it now, then? A uh, large grenade launcher featuring a revolver type chamber. It's currently loaded with regular grenades. Oh, okay. So we've got regular and we've got napalm. I'm guessing the napalm is probably good if we run into any more of those leechy dudes. So that'll be something to keep in mind. Oh, so sorry if I'm a little nasally today. I, uh, I woke up with a bit of a case of the sniffles. Let's see. Oh, right, and we have William, so we can open the thingy now. Oh, actually, you know what? Uh, I think there's a bad thing that's about to happen. And I feel like I should probably have the grenade launcher handy when that bad thing does happen. <laughs> I could be wrong. I, I could be mixing this up with something that happens in Resident Evil 1, but I think something terrible happens. I mean, in all fairness... Okay. Alright, uh... Becky, let's go check that out, I guess. Is this one? Clank, 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 clank. Moshi, moshi. I don't like this. What do we got? Facility key. Sure! Oh, that's fine. Oh no. No. Rebecca. Get your hands off her, you bitch. Well, was that the line? Or was it take your hands off her? I totally don't. That is funky fucking music. Get grenades! Sorry if this hits you too, Rebecca. <laughs> it's probably fine. Stop getting stuck on the pole! Oh, where the fuck is he? Hi! Whoop! Ah, I'm working on it! They can only shoot so We're many grenades at you. Alright? Are you alright? Yes. Thank you. Oh, he's so dreamy when he saved me from centipedes. <laughs> Grenades don't work on Rebecca. Good! Thank, thank God Umbrella turned off friendly fire. After they, you know, betrayed the dude who ran this place, I think. Whatever the circumstances were. But we have a key now! Which is good. Let's see what that key does. Examine. Oh, it's the fire key! Now we have full access to the Fire Nation. They'll never see it coming. But it was evading taxes. Yes! <laughs> Fucking... That was the real reason they killed Dr. Mark, because it wasn't because he was, like, doing research or shit. They were just like... Bro wasn't paying his taxes. If there's one thing Umbrella won't fuck with, it's the IRS. <laughs> Now, if I could just remember where the fire door was. It wasn't in there. That was the water. Oh! No, first floor. Um, in that area with the rusty sink, I think. Oh, no. You know what? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. William, this way, please. I'm trying to consolidate my inventory as best I can, because this one doesn't use item boxes like the other ones, so... The more I can squeeze into one area, the better I'll be. So let's just get that out of our inventory. I know that's not ready yet, but that's fine. We'll work on that later. Now we can come downstairs. Yes, thank you for staring at me with your big old eyes, Marcus. 
Then we can... Leave these. We can leave the grenade launcher. Oh, getting a call from the wife. Hold on one sec. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, the wife was just calling to check in. Let me know how she's doing. Um, I tried to do a little inventory management while I was waiting. We have... So we have the key. I guess I can give Rebecca the ink ribbons. That would probably be fine. Just to free up... I, uh, I want to bring the shotgun in case we run into anything like particularly unsavory, but I don't like that it takes up a spot, but I don't want to just have the shotgun, if that makes sense. But you know what? I think I'll just... It's probably fine. It's just... I'll leave the gun. I'm gonna give Rebecca all the ammo for this. We'll rely solely on the shotgun, because we've got, like, 36 shots for it. That's more than enough to kill most of what we're gonna run into. Um, and we're gonna do a... Oh, I just saved, didn't I? So, that's fine. Now I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and I'm pressing the wrong buttons. See, I got all disheveled now. I guess we'll just keep her with the healing items. Has Marcus sent the exterminators yet? Um, evidently not, considering all the giant fucking bugs that are still kicking around. But he might want to get a jump on that. We all know you took a potty break because you're scared. You don't need to play the wife. Hey. I am a professional. 
I piss myself on stream like a gentleman. Take him out, Becky. You can... Are you gonna... Take him out? Shoot him! Becky, I don't want to waste... God fucking... Oh, now you shoot! Oh, hold on. How about that one? Are you gonna shoot that one, Becky? Becky, darling, sweetheart! <laughs> I'm getting real sick of your shit, Becky. Goddamn right we are! Also, hello there, train wreck Marty! You would have been a very appropriate guest on the last episode when we had an actual train wreck. <laughs> Fucking... You know, here I am. Trying to conserve my shotgun. I know it's got a fire motif. Alright, hold on. Let me, um... What I'm gonna do... Is... How do I do the... There we go. Um, idle. Don't waste your ammunition. Oh man, I missed that. My passion life. You know what? We'll go back and visit, because I still have a few items there. So we'll, we'll stop back in at some point. I'm sure it's still on fire. Are there Zimzams in here? Nope! I think we're good. Ooh, bottles! Yes! We can fill them partially with water and have our own little performance. Can I carry this now? Well, to hell with me then. Uh, William? If you please? Can you combine that with your lighter? You can! And now we have fire. Oh, fraptious day, Kalukalai. Uh, and we can make Maltovs. Oh, even better! The Fire Nation is proud. <laughs> um, is there anything else in this room, or was that it? I guess that's it. Is there anything in the fridge? It's a refrigerator. The door is broken and refuses to open. Well, I guess not. Maybe it's a puzzle later. No food. No, nobody needs to eat in Resident Evil. Other than herbs. You shove herbs in your face, you occasionally eat a can of first aid spray, and you're good to go. That's all anyone needs. Okay, so let's grab gasoline real quick. Yes. Becky, give me the bottles. And can you combine these, or are you too dense? No, you can. Marvelous. Okay. We'll leave the rest of that. Now we have some Molotovs kicking around for a little extra firepower. Quite literally. We haven't gone this way yet. What horrors awaits? Let's find out. Ring a ding ding dong. Hello, hello. Well, nothing so far. Oh, I just realized the house was in the way. I'm sorry. Oh, a bathroom! Nothing bad ever happens in bathrooms, right? Was that noises? There's a red herb that I don't need. There's... Oh, more gas! Delightful! And a green herb that I guess we'll grab while we're here, because we can go get the other thing. So then he'll 1, 2, and 3 want to speak with me. Well, tell them I'm busy. <laughs> I can't carry that now. Son of a bitch. All right, uh, Becky. I just need to hold that for just a moment, darling. Thank you. Um, let me grab this one. Yes. Make with the exchange we do's. Wrong way. 
There we go. Because only Rebecca possesses the finesse required to grind herbs and put them on some paper. And light that shit up. That's fine. Uh, are we good? Oh, we're not good! <laughs> oh boy. Uh, Becky. This way. Becky! Oh, he's squiggling. Kindly don't! Oh, get off. Stop. Becky. You know what? I'm gonna need to stay in that bathroom. <laughs> that bathroom's a terrible place. The core was awful. Who... Oh, shit. Becky. Becky, get out of the bathroom! <laughs> Becky, please. You are... You are bringing the team down. All right. You need to learn to be a team player. Let's go. Okay. This shit is not gonna fly. Oh god! Look, you're already at caution too. You silly bitch. I love you, but come on. Let's let's just make a note on the map to never ever go in that room again. <laughs> Already developed a crush on her. Excellent. The door is locked, but there doesn't seem to be a keyhole anywhere. The top part is engraved with the image of a clock. Oh, that's what we have to do in the other room. Is some clock shenanigans. No! Becky? <laughs> Becky, please move to safety. Darling. Get set on fire! And have another! That didn't kill you. That's worrying. Get fucked! Stop! Stop it! Oh boy. Becky, run. Becky, run! Fucking leeches. Fucking everything. Okay, we're fine. Never mind. <laughs> Get off with your fucking tapioca bullshit. Well, what a horrible adventure that was. Consequently, I don't think we even got anything important in there, did we? It was literally just like herbs and some gas. I don't think we picked up any keys. What a horror adventure. Never go in the bath. Yeah, exactly. I mean, at least this place has a bathroom befitting, like, however many employees probably worked here. Like, the, the first game, the mansion only has, like, one bathroom for, like, a three-story mansion. And it's, like, just some bullshit. Where the hell are we going now? Uh, those are locked. Those are locked. Those are locked. The train is still fine. We have the fire key. I just don't know where that goes now. But I guess we'll uh, we'll go explore. We'll go dip doodling around and see what we what we can accomplish. Let's see what's this door? The door is locked. Doesn't seem to be a keyhole anywhere. The top part is engraved with the clock. Okay, so that's another clock one. We know that now. We have... That's the room with the water key. That doesn't do us any good. This room... Has the knights, which we can't get around. So I guess the only other room would be down this way? I think. Let's go find out. Knock, knock. Anybody want to rumble? Nah, they know better. They they know what we're packing. Maybe. Please, no leeches. I've had quite enough of you guys already. Oh, here we go. Use the fire key. You don't need this key anymore. Marvelous. Yeet that bitch. Ring-a-ding-ding-dong. Ooh. 
mysterious piano tickles. Uh, this looks important. Let's just clip our shotgun through the desk like any good action hero. Oh, I spy bullets. Becky, be a darling, please grab those. Yes. Billy boy. I'm gonna need you to get on the other side of this thingamajig. I think we have to push it this way. Becky, please go. Becky, please. <laughs> You're making me manually move you. I don't even know how far I'm just gonna... Alright, I'll be real. I'm not sure the significance of moving that yet. Give me that. There's a switch on the wall over this way. There's a switch here. Flip it. Sure. Oh, the lights are on. And the background seems to move. Moosehead? I see a shiny. Ah! Now I see what you're getting at. Seems to be something here. Did you oh, for the clock! Marvelous! Okay. Um, we can go back down this way. Let's turn this back off. Don't want to waste their electric bill. And... I guess that's all there was to do over here? I saw a piece of paper. Let me go grab that real quick. Assistant Director's Diary. September 2nd. A useless bunch of trainees. As always. Where does headquarters find these idiots? We did get a couple of decent ones, though, so can't complain, I guess. William and Albert. Ooh, we know who they are. They might have a future. September 25th. Scholar Will. Practical uh, Al. I read that as AI, because I'm a dumb. Scholar Will. Practical Al. They really are opposites, and they're always competing in everything they do. There's something ruthless and cruel about them both. October 7th. Got a sudden call from the director. It was to tell me to encourage a rivalry between those two. It's the first time since the training facility was built that Dr. Marcus has ever shown interest in anything other than his research. Well, whatever. Orders are orders. I'm going to have them tearing at each other's throats. Way to fuck everything up that would eventually happen. You've, you've given birth to a man with cool sunglasses and a guy with an eyeball for an arm. I hope you're proud of yourself. What the hell am I doing? Uh, can I get through this door over here? I don't think I actually tried it. This one. Tap. It's locked. Can I light the... Oh, yeah, because there's a painting of a guy with a candle. Could you be any more overt? Lickery D. Excellent. I don't want to analyze how that puzzle would work. I'm just going to take it. Oh! Friends! Guess I wasted a shotgun shell on the first one. Hey! You get back down. That is very rude. When someone puts you away for a nap, you stay the fuck down. You got that? We can't carry that item now. Well! Uh, yeah, because my inventory is full of things. There we go. Look at me being smart. He wanted to be tucked in. Well, he, he got exactly what he wanted. Exactly what he did. Look, he's switching. Look, they're both twitching. Just like me. We're all on Twitch. <laughs> uh, there's a candle here. But there's no candle in this one. I don't know if that's relevant. Still like painting a fruit in a basket. The fruit in the painting is rotten. 
God, you can't have nothing nice in this mansion, can you? Oh, wait! This looks suspicious. I'm a medic, not a bodybuilder. <laughs> Excellent. I got an, uh, an achievement for trying to make Rebecca push the bookshelf. Good! <gasps> Guys, we did it! We found the good book! Attention to detail. Love it. I'm a fan. So... Let's take a look at the good book, so that it may teach us good things. An elegantly bound book entitled Good. It seems unusually heavy for a book of its thickness. Oh lord, he's thick! Oh, there was a secret inside. Took the angel wings, put them on, run around. Second life this bitch up. Becky, come on. I'm not leaving you behind this time. I'm sorry for last time. <laughs> oh, hold on. Got another call from the missus. Give me one sec. Okay, sorry about that. She, uh, she's stopping at Dunks and wanted to know what I wanted. Because she's cool like that. Anyway, what were we doing? We were... We got the angel wings, so we can go stick those on the statue. And we got some more grenade rounds, which we can go drop in the main room. Let's just doodle our way over here. It's interesting that for a training facility for science, Umbrella decided to make it look like a mansion. Yeah, it's... It made sense in the first one, because it was made by a dude who, like... What was it? The mansion was, like, commissioned to intentionally look, like... You know, old and decrepit and out of place and whatnot. But, like, this one... You would think they'd want their training facility to look more like a training facility. But... Well, what the fuck do I know, right? I'm not a contractor. Becky, go around the pillar. You must save your game. Plastic crash on us again. Now that we've made all this progress and gotten scared by tapioca leeches. Thank you. Let us press onward. So we used up the fire key. We're all good with that. We've got the angel wings. We now... Oh, we got the clock thing. We can go back up and do the clock. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Do I have rum? I don't have rum. Leave the grenades right there. We'll get them later. Probably. Give me the angel statue. Yes. Combine it with the wings, which are not in my inventory. Thank you, William. I don't need to use this. What do you mean I don't need to use it now? I'm in front of the statue. Use the thing. There we go. Okay, so we need to find one more wing for, for the dark one there. Should be all good, I imagine. But let's run upstairs and do the clock real quick. <sighs> lovely, oppressive noises. Also, again, sorry if I'm a little sniffly. I woke up today with a. I'm guessing it's probably allergies. It's been getting colder up here. And just... It's how it be sometimes, you know?
Any more bastard birds want to fuck with me? No? Good. The sound design in this game is really good. Silent Hill... Well, the thing about, like... The big difference between Resident Evil and Silent Hill is, like, Silent Hill is a lot more psychological, fucky horror, so you can do a lot more with the sound design, because it doesn't necessarily need to make sense as long as it's unsettling. Whereas, since Resident Evil is more of, like, you know, it's it's a science... It's a... I guess sci-fi isn't really the right word for it, but it's a... It's biological horror. It's not, like... Ooh, look, there's ghosts. Oh, we're being haunted by spirits. Oh, it's a psychological traumatic nightmare that's all in your head. It's, you know, it's it's based on, it's grounded in some semblance of, like, reality. So you have to, like, you can't just throw random noises in there unless they serve a purpose. Whereas in Silent Hill, you can, like, you can have these, like, clunks and rattlings and, like, the sound of glass breaking when nothing's happening. Because it's, you know, you're in a psychological nightmare world. <laughs> Also, the Evil Within had great sound. I've I have never actually played the Evil Within. I also have no idea what I'm supposed to be setting this clock to. <laughs> I should probably go figure that out. Um, is there a note? What does this say? That doesn't say anything. Solidly built clock. Move the hands. No, we don't know what to move the hands to. There's tools. Uh without spoiling, I don't I don't want to know what to set the clock to. I just want to know what where I might find the information for what the clock must be set to. Evil Within is great for developing PTSD. Tremendous game. I will I will have to check it out. I don't know if I'll I don't know if that, that's something I'd stream, but I might. I might uh see if I can get it on sale or something. I might snag it. Give it a give it a jaunt. I just remember when I first saw the trailers for it, with like that weird spindly lady with the extra limbs and crazy hair. That looked sufficiently spooky. Yes, our Lord and Savior Gabe. Glorious Gabe and, and his discounts. What are we doing? Um, fuck a duck. I have no idea what I'm doing now. Oh, neat. I didn't know that was a thing I could do. Um, the clock. Wait, the clock will tell me? I know, no, I know it's the clock, I just need to know what time to set the clock to. But I don't want to just be told, I want to know where to find that information. Unless I'm just supposed to fuck with it until I get it. Which seems a little... unusual. Let's do a... Or, you know, fuck it. For the sake of time, if you want to just tell me what it is, I'll just throw it on there. Under the assumption that I would have figured it out on my own eventually. I'm going to try 6 o'clock for... Because, I don't know, maybe it'll be 6 o'clock. Turn them in hand. 6 o'clock seems like a good o'clock to have. There you go. Will that do it for you? Nothing happened. Well, <laughs> it wasn't six o'clock. Is there a note on the table? These gears must be part of a big clock. This doesn't seem to be anything special about them. Is there anything over here? No. Alright, well that's... It must be in one of those, like... Office rooms. Check to the notes I've collected. That's a good idea. Let's, um... Let's see. Files 1, files 2. So we have the... 
Oh, all we've picked up so far is the director's diary. All this other stuff's from the train. All right, we'll keep looking. I probably got stuck here the last time I <laughs> Let's see. Oh, my cat has come to say hello. Please do not step on the keyboard. Yes, hello. How you doing? Maybe we missed something in here, in the bug room. You know how cats and keyboards are. Oh, I do! I... <laughs> It takes a lot of convincing for them not to trample mine. Oh, we're not getting spooky tunes anymore in here. This is lovely. Uh, same to fix an aristocratic lady. Air of nobility. Nothing over here. That's the water door, so we can't open that yet. There's nothing with this clock. Grab the clock appears to be broken and stop ticking altogether. It's on... 355, it looks like? I don't know if that's supposed to be the clue, or... I feel like it would have told me when I examined it. But... I don't have much else to go on right now. <laughs> as long as we don't have to go back in that horrid bathroom, we should be fine. <laughs> this, this is the reason Umbrella terminated Marcus, is they got sick of his, uh, his puzzly bullshit. Talk to me, Marcus! Give me your wisdom. Huge portrait of the first director of the facility, James Marcus. You're no good to me, you crotchety old bitch. Let's see. Let me, uh... Let me go this way. Maybe I missed something over here. this room. Are you gonna wake up now? Friend? I know you're gonna wake up one of these times. I'm waiting for it. I'm ready. I'm primed. Flickery lights. I didn't go the other way in this hallway, did I? That's some noise. Stack of chairs and other furniture. There doesn't seem to be anything special about them. Oh! Hi! Go to sleep. Anybody else? No, just you? Okay. So this is where we got the shotgun. And the, uh... Did we get one of the figures in here, I think? Moshi Moshi. The handrail has collapsed. From the look of it, it didn't just rot away either. Ooh. How disconcerting. That still looks suspicious. Billy, come along. Now we're back in here. I'm guessing maybe there's something I need to do up on this thing. Security system is locked. Please insert system disk. Oh, right. We still have this. Because I'm guessing this... I mean, this is like a conference room, so there must be a projector in here, which I can use that microfilm on, but I apparently can't because I don't have a system disk and I don't know where to find one. Okay, for the sake of progress, if somebody does want to tell me what the clock is supposed to be set to, I wouldn't be too grumbled about it. I would accept this information. I'm gonna check this room again real quick. I think this is the one we got attacked by the birds in? 
Yeah. Okay, so this was the bird room. There must... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't tell me anything yet. Notice to all staff. The document is very old. Much of the writing is illegible. Regular meetings of the Vaccine Research and Infection Agents team will be held. Both meetings are security level 5 and will be held in the following locations. First floor, west operating control room. Second floor, southeast meeting room. The entry code shall be 815. There we go. Okay. Now we know. It's 815. I somehow missed that piece of paper while fighting for my life in an Alfred Hitchcock movie. Back to the clock. And you guys doubted me. Telling me that you would just give me the information, even though I insisted not to. That's definitely what happened. Alright. William, come along. We've dawdled enough. I'm sure people who, uh, who play this game, like, religiously are probably just disgusted with me right now. But it's fine. It's good. We have what we need now. Eight fifteen. Eight fifteen. Eight fifteen. Move the eight fifteen. Why, yes, we will move the eight fifteen. No, left. You son of a gun. I didn't think it was the clock's left. There's that, and then our hand. Left. Left, and left, and a left, and leave that shit right where it is. Where the hell did Billy go? William? Oh, there you are. Okay. <laughs> You startled me for a second. You disappeared on me. You can't be leaving me like that. Also, while we're here, we'll grab this. I'm sure we're gonna need that. Come along. We have places to be. Knock, knock. Anything horrible gonna come out and murder me now that I've activated that? Let me give you the first aid spray and I'm gonna make a, uh, a combo real quick. Give me that. Give me this. Let's combine those. Oh, I already had one. I didn't even realize. <laughs> My stupid ass knows what it's doing. Does yours? Alright. So now, back to the main hall. We'll, uh... Come on, Billy. We'll go check out the door on the second floor of the main hall first, and then we'll go back to the one that's past the horrible leechy bathroom that we're never going into again, as has been agreed upon. Billy dear. What you got for me? I hear spooks. There you go. Yeah, reload real quick. Still hear the trudging. There you are. How many of you fuckers are in here? Go to sleep. A verse of poetry. The moon bows to the earth. The earth swears loyalty to the sun. And the great law of the sun governs all things. 
This itself is the keystone, the pointer to glory. All our hands cannot open the door to heaven. You got a verse of poetry. We're so cultured now. Billy, grab those bullets. Nothing says culture like bullets. Ooh, more microfilm. Looks like the fire was lit only a short while ago. Books lie scattered on the floor. Your nephew calls me Grandpa Peter. <laughs> that is adorable. And yet also makes me feel terribly old. Why can't I be like Uncle? But not the weird kind. Picture seems to have been taken out of the frame. Huh. Alright, so we got two things of microfilm, but that still doesn't do us any good. So I guess we'll have to go through that other door, which will maybe lead us to a system disk? I think. I sure hope so, because I'm going to have to wrap it up probably in like the next 15 minutes or so. So let's see, uh, let's see what else we can take care of real quick. Let me drop the, uh, I'll drop that microfilm right here with the other one. Oh, right. I can't leave any more items. I'll just use that. To make sure I have a free spot. <laughs> Tell the good news to him that I have an honorary grandson. I'm sure she'll be thrilled. No! Is that just leeches, or is there a leech zombie in here? Billy, you take point. You have the shotgun. Get off me! Yeah, just shoot me in the no. fucking neck, Rebecca. Thank you. <laughs> Impeccable aiming on these characters. Hey, right, Becca. You have the bullets. Oh, there's a projector in here. I should have brought the microfilm. Oh, I did bring one of the microfilms. I was just completely wrong about where the projector was. I do have some microfilm. Let's put some microfilm in. Click. Use the projector. Uh, sure. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, A, B, C, D, E, F. What is that? Um, That's base 10, isn't it? All right, we'll leave that in there. sounding all educated like I know what oh that's base 16 look at look at me not being educated then. <laughs> fuck me I guess thinking I know what I'm talking about all right well let's go back through the leech hallway so we can go grab that other microfilm excuse me pardon me very busy. Give me this. Okay, so I'm guessing we'll we'll get this. We'll put that in the projector, and then it's gonna like maybe it'll give me an operating disc or something. I really don't know. Fuck off, leeches. I ain't got time for you. Your nephew says I should not play scary games. Your nephew's far smarter than I am. Because <laughs> here I be. Playing the spooks. Insert. Ah... There's something written on top of the picture of the seats. Oh, good, it did give me a disc. Yes, the MO disc. The MO disc. Microfilm image, an image resulting from overlaying microfilms A and B. Numbers appear on the seats of the conference room. You got the microfilm image. Oh, 
I bet I know what's gonna do. I think I remember this. So we go back to the conference room, we put the disc in, and then I think there's like a certain order you have to activate those little desk monitor thingamajiggers there. Something like that. I could be completely wrong. Again, I was mixing up the projector from this with the one from RE1, so I wouldn't trust anything I say anymore. Conference room is on the second floor. Let's go! Any Zimbos? Zimbabwe's? Anybody want to tussle? No, they know better. Now loading. Complete. Please enter the passcode. Zero A. Uh, okay, so now... No input device nearby. That's because things and such. Microfilm message. Okay, so that's... That's the back of the room. So zero is all the way back left. A is third row... First right side. Okay. Let's go activate that. So you, right back here, are zero. And you. Oh, wait. I'll go check over there. Yeah. Are we gonna have to, like, split up and do this? I just noticed there's a document over there, too. Should probably grab that in a sec. Did that not do the thing? Or is it because I pressed it wrong? Or am I looking at the room incorrectly? So if that's the case, then that would mean this one's zero. Oh, I was looking at the room wrong. So I'm a moron. And this one would be A. Clickety clack. There we go. Oh, hey! That gets the swords out of our way. That opens up a whole heck of a lot for us. Okay, good. Um, this way. Roger. Becca, come along, dear. Is there anything else to do up here? Let me grab that. Where the hell was that document? It was back on this one, right? Where was that paper? I didn't imagine that, did I? Oh no, there it is. Billy, pick it up. You can reach over that. You have long, strong arms. Oh Jesus, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Regulations for trainees. Training facility mansion. This training facility will raise a new generation of model employees to serve the future of Umbrella Corp. Applying the strictest and most rigorous training standards, this facility will, but that regard for gender, race, or creed, produce only the best candidates to be the future global leaders of Umbrella Corporation. We look forward to the development of your leadership qualities. Training facility guidelines. Discipline. Obedience. Unity. These three words are the basic principles which govern Umbrella Corporation employees and are to be considered the law of this facility. Keep these words in mind at all times. Devote yourself to your training and bring honor to your... Bring, bring honor to us all, Mulan. And bring honor to yourselves and the corporation. James Marcus, Director, Umbrella Corporation Management Training Facility. You got the regulations for trainees. Now we too can be model Umbrella employees. because I think now is probably a good time to call it quits. We've opened up three new doors, which is a perfect place for us to resume tonight. Assuming I have... I'll probably have a little free time I can play tonight, so we'll, uh... Yeah. We'll do some of that. 
anyway. Quitting time. Oh, not options. Get out of there. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah. Stuff and things. Steam, I don't know. I don't want to update you right now. Stop getting getting in my way doing my stuff. I'm not starting soon. I just finished. Um, so, yeah. Um, hey, yeah. Um, thank you guys for, you know, popping in, sticking around, watching my shenanigans and whatnot. Always a pleasure to have you. And, uh, and yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll probably, uh, I probably should be able to stream a little bit later tonight, probably for like an hour and a half, maybe two hours, depending. Um, and then maybe tomorrow around the same time. So then Monday, I've got off from work, so I, I'll i probably be on and off all day. So feel free to pop back in then. I'll, I don't know if I'll be playing this or whatever, but, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll have a grand old time, but... For now, I'm going to pop off, wait for the wife to get home, enjoy a nice, refreshing latte, and uh, and enjoy my weekend. And I hope you guys do the same. Thanks for coming, and I'll see you next time. Bye!